so for the detail view this is what we want to achieve right we want to achieve a nice image of a dish larger image with a frame and a drop shadow there and then the list of ingredients and then the background of the ingredients is going to have a scrunched paper effect this is also another design that we have oops okay anyways let's stop that and then try to implement this application okay to do that let's go back to our detail view so now we have an image view here we're going to do something similar to what we did for the list view so let's drag another image view into the stage this is going to be what we're going to use for the frame so if i drag that there and then i'm going to use um, a frame image so going back to our resources we have a details photo mask which is kind of similar to what we had for our list mask but it's just a little bit larger so if i close that and then go back to the application it's called that details photo mask and then we need to resize that a little bit So then we'll try to align the image. Let's make this down a little bit. Nine as well. And yeah, that looks more like it. Okay, let's make the text for that one red. So we go to the text color. Let's make that red. And also, do we want to make that a little bit thicker yeah let's try that or make it larger a little bit okay and then um, we need the paper the scrunch paper image for the background of this so what we'll do is drag another image view and the thing that is called ingredients list let me show you that so this is the design element that's the scrunch paper view so as you can see what we're basically doing is just grabbing design image like design elements and I'm putting them all together into one to give like a, a, a coherent theme to the app so let's drag that to the back of to the top actually to the top of that So now that's covering our text view, so we need to send that to the back. So our text view needs a transparent image just so we will just so that we can see the background in that. So to do that, I'll select that and then um, go to the side here. And then select the background and then choose the clear color. So that makes it transparent. We don't want to be able to edit that. So I'm going to take that out and we're done. I think, okay, what's left is the background of this view. There are two ways to do it. If you go back to the recipe list, so what it was um, for the background, I'm no, sorry, the recipe cell. For the background recipe cell, we use an image view. So now I'm actually going to show you a different way of getting the background for your views. And that's using the UI like uh, color patterns so let's leave that as it is right now and let's run that and see what we get okay so if I tap on that you will see that we have our image in here and it looks like our image is has been moved up and it's not aligned with uh let's go back to our detail and try to figure that out So back to our detail view, it's possible that the frame and the image have different size and auto sizing metrics here. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Okay, so here you can see that the frame has um, a fixed width, fixed height, um, auto sizing metrics, and the image itself has a flexible width and flexible height one whatever you choose they both have to be the same for the frame 
effect to work right so let's take that off this app is going to be work only in the landscape mode sorry in the portrait mode if you are going to make a an app that's going to be able to work in landscape as well then you're going to have to do a little bit more but for now let's keep it simple so i make both of them have the same auto sizing parameters and let's run that and then yeah that looks nice now so now we have our dish in a frame the photo in a frame and um it looks like our ingredients are falling off the screen a little bit so we need to add a scroll view so the user can basically bounce up and down with the view so we're going to add a scroll view in a new video and also customize the background of our view